Do you know what it's like to walk past the site of the most traumatic experience of your life every day just to get to class? Outcry on campus, pressing for protection and supporting survivors. Thousands walk out at Western, calling for a crackdown on sexual violence. Good evening. The university finds itself at the center of intense criticism surrounding recent allegations of students being drugged and assaulted. Today's gathering with one overarching theme. What can be done to make sure everyone feels safe at school? CTV Zoraida Allman joins us in studio with more. Zoraida. Nathan and Michelle, they held up signs that read, I stand by survivors. Will I be next? Students say today's protest is about more than what happened orientation week. If anything, it was the catalyst that gave students no choice but to demand a culture change at Western. What do we want? As the clock struck 12 noon, thousands of Western University students left their classes and gathered outside to join a chorus of voices in protest against sexual violence. I wish someone had told me that it wasn't my fault and would keep repeating it until it made sense in my head. Into what they call a culture of misogyny on campus. It's a hard thing to talk about, especially when you're so afraid. It comes in the wake of allegations on social media that as many as 30 students were drugged and sexually assaulted during orientation week. Western and London police now investigating those claims, while confirming four other formal complaints have been made by women, alleging sexual assault while on campus. The system works against survivors. The survivors of this past week do not need to subject themselves to a cruel and unjust procedure in order for their experiences to be real. The students, both men and women, moved to assemble out of anger. It shouldn't have happened, this terrible, the past week and so many years prior. Frustration and fear. It's been pretty scary. Um, I, I don't know, walking around campus, it's kind of not, it doesn't feel the same and knowing it's everybody's responsibility to affect change. If you see something, say something. And like, clearly that's not been happening. And hopefully, like, it's going to start changing now. Sending a message straight to the head of the university. Alan Shepard has said our campus is safe. Safe for who? Alan Shepard, do you know what it's like to be unsafe? Not just feel unsafe, but actually be unsafe where you live. Do you know what it's like to walk past the site? Do you know what it's like to walk past the site of the most traumatic experience of your life every day just to get to class? No more silence! Thousands of voices join together in the hope somebody is listening. The rally did have the full support of the university. Western's President Alan Shepard saying today the school will continue to listen to their students and be guided by their needs. A new action plan now being put in place includes mandatory sexual violence and consent training for students and residents, as well as the hiring of 100 new safety ambassadors. I'm Zoraida Allman. Michelle, back to you. Thank you, Zoraida. And you can find more coverage of today's rally along with the latest information with the police investigation on our website. That's at CTV newstoronto.ca.